Matt Smith as Prince Demon Targaryen, the younger brother of King Viserys Targaryen and the uncle of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Known as the Rogue Prince, for his unpredictable behavior, Demon is also a fierce warrior and an experienced dragon rider on his dragon Caraxes. Olivia Cook, adult, and Emily Carey, teenager, as Lady, Queen Alicent Hightower, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen's childhood companion and best friend, and later the second wife and queen consort of King Viserys Targaryen. She is raised in the Red Keep as part of the king's inner circle, and is known as the most comely woman in the Seven Kingdoms. Emma Darcy, adult, and Millie Alcock, teenager, as Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, King Viserys Targaryen's daughter and heir apparent, the firstborn and only surviving child of Viserys and Queen Emma Arryn. Praised as the realm's delight, during her youth, she rides the young dragon Cyrax. Reese Ifans as Esser Otto Hightower, Alicent Hightower's father and the hand of the king to King Viserys Targaryen. He is haughty, blunt, and domineering. Steve Toussaint as Lord Corley's Valerian, the head of House Valerian, one of the wealthiest and most powerful families in the Seven Kingdoms, and master of ships to King Viserys Targaryen. Known as the Sea Snake, he is the most famous seafarer in Westerosi history. Eve Best as Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, King Viserys Targaryen's cousin and wife of Lord Corley's Valerian. Rhaenys is the only child of Prince Aemon Targaryen, King Jaehaerys Targaryen's late heir apparent and oldest son, and Jocelyn Baratheon, Jaehaerys' half-sister. Known as the Queen Who Never Was, she was once a candidate to succeed her grandfather King Jaehaerys as ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, but was passed over in favor of her younger cousin Viserys due to her gender. She is a formidable dragon rider who rides the dragon Melis. Sonoya Mizuno as Mycaria, a foreign-born brothel dancer who has risen to become Prince Demon Targaryen's paramour and most trusted confidant. Matt Smith as Prince Demon Targaryen, the younger brother of King Viserys Targaryen and the uncle of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Known as the Rogue Prince, for his unpredictable behavior, Demon is also a fierce warrior and an experienced dragon rider on his dragon Caraxes. Olivia Cook, adult, and Emily Carey, teenager, as Lady, Queen Alicent Hightower, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen's childhood companion and best friend, and later the second wife and queen consort of King Viserys Targaryen. She is raised in the Red Keep as part of the king's inner circle, and is known as the most comely woman in the Seven Kingdoms. Emma Darcy, adult, and Millie Alcock, teenager, as Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, King Viserys Targaryen's daughter and heir apparent, the firstborn and only surviving child of Viserys and Queen Emma Arryn. Praised as the realm's delight, during her youth, she rides the young dragon Cyrax. Reese Ifans as Esser Otto Hightower, Alicent Hightower's father and the hand of the king to King Viserys Targaryen. He is haughty, blunt, and domineering. Steve Toussaint as Lord Corley's Valerian, the head of House Valerian, one of the wealthiest and most powerful families in the Seven Kingdoms, and master of ships to King Viserys Targaryen. Known as the Sea Snake, he is the most famous seafarer in Westerosi history. Eve Best as Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, King Viserys Targaryen's cousin and wife of Lord Corley's Valerian. Rhaenys is the only child of Prince Aemon Targaryen, King Jaehaerys Targaryen's late heir apparent and oldest son, and Jocelyn Baratheon, Jaehaerys' half-sister. Known as the Queen Who Never Was, she was once a candidate to succeed her grandfather King Jaehaerys as ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, but was passed over in favor of her younger cousin Viserys due to her gender. She is a formidable dragon rider who rides the dragon Melis.
Sonoya Mizuno as Mysaria, a foreign-born brothel dancer who has risen to become Prince Demon Targaryen's paramour and most trusted confidant. He is raised to the Kingsguard after being handpicked by Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Graham McTavish as Esser Harold Westerling, a seasoned knight and member of the Kingsguard who has served the crown since King Jaehaerys Targaryen. He is tasked with watching over and protecting Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Upon the death of Esser Ryam Redwin, he is named the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. Matthew Needham as Larry Strong, the younger son of Lord Lionel Strong, he is known as Clubfoot, due to a birth abnormality that causes him to walk with a limp. Jefferson Hall as the identical twins from House Lannister, Lord Jason Lannister, the Lord of Castley Rock and head of House Lannister. An arrogant hunter and warrior, he vies for the hand of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Esser Tyland Lannister, Lord Jason Lannister's younger brother, a cunning politician who later replaces Lord Corley's Valerian as Master of Ships. Gavin Spokes as Lord Lionel Strong, Lord of Harrenhal and Head of House Strong, and Master of Laws to King Viserys Targaryen. He later replaces Esser Otto Hightower as Hand of the King. David Horovich as Grand Maester Mellows, member of the Small Council, as well as serving as King Viserys Targaryen's personal physician. Bill Patterson as Lord Lyman Beesbury, Lord of Honeyholt and Head of House Beesbury, and Master of Coin to King Viserys Targaryen. Ryan Corr as Esser Harwin Strong, the eldest son to Lord Lionel Strong and heir to Harrenhal. Known as Breakbones, he is said to be the strongest man in the Seven Kingdoms. Stephen Rodri as Lord Hobart Hightower, the head of House Hightower and ruler of Aldtown, and the older brother of Esser Otto Hightower. Julian Lewis Jones as Lord Boraemond Baratheon, the Lord of Storm's End and head of House Baratheon. In the series, he is referred to as cousin to Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. But in Martin's books, he is the only son of Lord Roger Baratheon and Dowager Queen Alyssa Valerian, which makes him half-brother to King Jaehaerys I Targaryen, maternal uncle to Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, first cousin once removed to Lord Corley's Valerian, the Sea Snake, and half-granduncle to King Viserys I Targaryen. He is also the great-grandson of House Founder Ori's Baratheon, the base-born, half-brother and best friend of King Aegon the Conqueror. John Macmillan as Esser Laner Valerian, son of Princess Rhaenys Targaryen and Lord Corley's Valerian, and the first husband of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. He is a dragon rider who rides the dragon sea smoke. Theo Nate portrays young Laner Valerian. Matthew Carver portrays child Laner Valerian. Tom Glyn Carney as Prince Aegon Targaryen, the firstborn son of King Viserys Targaryen and Queen Alicent Hightower, and half-brother to Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. He is a dragon rider who rides the dragon Sunfire. Ty Tennant portrays young Aegon Targaryen. Fia Sabin as Princess Helena Targaryen, the second-born child and only daughter of King Viserys Targaryen and Queen Alicent Hightower. She is a dragon rider who rides the she-dragon Dreamfire. Evie Allen portrays young Helena Targaryen. Ewan Mitchell as Prince Aemon Targaryen, the third child and second son of King Viserys Targaryen and Queen Alicent Hightower. He aspires to be a dragon rider. Leo Ashton portrays young Aemon Targaryen. Harry Collett as Prince Jacqueries Valerian, the firstborn son of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen and Esser Laner Valerian. He is a dragon rider who rides the dragon Vermax. Leo Hart portrays young Jacqueries Valerian. 
Elliot Griho as Prince Lucerus Valerian, the second-born son of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen and Esserlaner Valerian. He is a dragon rider who rides the dragon Eryx. Harvey Sadler portrays young Lucerus Valerian. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners.
Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners.
Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik, who won an Emmy Award for directing the episode, Battle of the Bastards, were selected to serve as showrunners. The series takes place 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones during the reign of King Viserys I Targaryen, ultimately leading to the Targaryen Civil War known as the Dance of the Dragons. The project is a reworking of the rejected spin-off concept from Game of Thrones writer Brian Cogman, on which HBO officially passed. On August 26, 2022, less than a week after its premiere, the series was renewed for a second season. On August 31, it was announced that Miguel Sapochnik would leave the series after its first season, stepping down as director and co-showrunner, but remaining an executive producer. Sapochnik stated, It was incredibly tough to decide to move on, but I know that it is the right choice for me, personally and professionally. Alan Taylor, who directed multiple Game of Thrones episodes, will join in Season 2 and serve as an executive producer and direct multiple episodes. On September 26, it was reported that Jocelyn Diaz would not be returning as executive producer for the second season. In January 2020, Casey Bloys, HBO's president of programming, stated that the writing process had begun. Casting began in July 2020. In October 2020, Patty Considine was cast as Visory's I Targaryen. By December, Olivia Cook, Matt Smith, and Emma Darcy were cast as Alicent Hightower, Demon Targaryen, and Rhaenyra Targaryen, respectively. In February 2021, Reese I fans, Steve Toussaint, Eve Best and Sonoya Mizuno were added to the main cast. By April, Fabian Frankel joined the cast as Esser Kristen Cole. In May, Graham McTavish was spotted on set in full wardrobe. In July 2021, Emily Carey and Millie Alcock were added to the cast as younger counterparts of Alicent Hightower and Rhaenyra Targaryen respectively. Principal photography on the 10-episode first season of the series began in April 2021. The series was filmed primarily in the United Kingdom. During the last week of April 2021, filming took place in Cornwall. According to Production List, additionally, parts of the first season were filmed in Spain and California. House of the Dragon was the first production to be shot at Warner Brothers. Leaves Den Studios' new virtual production stage. On July 18, 2021, production paused for two days because of a COVID-19 case. The Spanish publication Hoy reported that House of the Dragon would be filmed in the province of Caceres in western Spain between October 11-21, 2021. The provincial capital of Caceres along with the town of Trujillo were used in scenes for King's Landing. From October 26-31, the series was filmed in Portugal at the Castle of Monsanto. 
Additional filming locations included Trujillo, Caceres, a medieval town. Locations in Cornwall, England included St. Michael's Mount, Holywell Beach and Kynance Cove. Other locations included Castleton, Derbyshire, in areas such as Cave Dale, Eldon Hill Quarry and the Marketplace. Some scenes were shot in Aldershot, Hampshire. In February 2022, HBO confirmed that the first season of House of the Dragon had wrapped production. The second season is set to begin filming in Spain in the spring of 2023. Game of Thrones linguist David J. Peterson returned to continue his work on the constructed language High Valyrian. Emma Darcy reports enjoying learning it, while Matt Smith initially dreaded it and found it daunting. According to Variety, each episode of House of the Dragon cost under US$20 million. The overall production budget of the first season of House of the Dragon was nearly $200 million, while the marketing budget according to Deadline Hollywood was in excess of $100 million, comparable to the marketing budget for a tentpole theatrical film. In the novels, House Valerian are generally described as having pale skin, silver hair, and purple eyes, however, Condal and Sapochnik wanted to include more racial diversity with its casting. Condal stated, we wanted to find a way to put diversity in the show, but we didn't want to do it in a way that felt like it was an afterthought or, worse, tokenism. The world is very different now than it was ten years ago when Game of Thrones all started. It's different than twenty years ago when Peter Jackson made The Lord of the Rings. These types of stories need to be more inclusive than they traditionally have been. It was very important for Miguel and I to create a show that was not another bunch of white people on the screen, just to put it very bluntly. According to Condal, Martin had previously considered or at least toyed with the idea of making the Valerians a house of black nobles who came from the other side of the ocean conquering Westeros in his novels. House of the Dragon premiered on August 21, 2022. It is HBO's first new series to stream in 4K, Dolby Vision HDR and Dolby Atmos on its streaming platform HBO Max. The first episode was released for free on YouTube on September 2, 2022. In New Zealand, the series is distributed by Sky Soho TV channel and Neon Streaming Service. In the Philippines, Sky broadcasts the show via its main cable television services and other digital streaming platforms. In India, Disney Plus Hotstar distributes the show. In the UK, Ireland, Italy, Germany, Austria and Switzerland, the series airs on Sky Atlantic and its accompanying streaming service now. In Canada, House of the Dragon is available on Bell Media's Crave streaming service and its HBO Linear channel. In Australia, the series is available for streaming on Binge and Foxtel. On the review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes, the series holds an approval rating of 86%, based on 693 reviews. On Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, the series has received a score of 69 out of 100 based on 43 critic reviews, indicating, generally favorable reviews. The day after the series premiere, HBO said the episode had been viewed by an estimated 9.99 million viewers in the U.S. on its first night of availability, including linear viewers and streams on HBO Max which HBO said was the largest single-day viewership for a series debut in the service's history. In announcing a second season renewal four days later, the network said the episode had been watched by over 20 million linear, streaming, and on-demand viewers in the U.S. by that point. After one week of availability, the viewership rose to nearly 25 million in the U.S. across all platforms.
The size of the audience during the show's premiere caused HBO Max to crash for some users, particularly those using Amazon Fire TV devices. Downdetector reported 3,700 instances of the application not responding. There were also reports of widespread streaming issues on Canadian partner service Crave. According to Nielsen, the episode had a viewership of 327 million minutes on HBO Max in the U.S. during its first day. Samba TV meanwhile stated that 4.8 million U.S. households streamed the episode in the first four days. With media who track viewership data for the 22 million worldwide users of their TV Time app, stated that it was the most viewed debut for a show in the app's history based on viewership over three days following the premiere.